So more like skin infections. People don't realize this, but warts. We see warts, right? All the time. The bane of the dermatologist because it, there's so many treatments for it and it depends on the location or how big they are. Um, I find some of them when they're kind of like this, and I just did this um, at the university last week where this patient had gone to another dermatologist. Finally, they came to the university. I teach there about three three months a year. So I saw the patient with the resident. The resident said, listen, I, you know, I can't freeze this ward again. It's the fourth time. What is there to do? So what there is to do, I told her, is you can give a bleomycin injection. You can inject a medication into this, a fluid into this, with an anesthetic so it doesn't hurt as much. And what it'll do is it'll just it's, it's a chemotherapy that just selectively attacks the wart tissue. It won't make this other tissue necrose or get gangrene or go away. It just affects the warts over here. And to me, that, that's been my best success for severe warts like this, as you see on the hands, um, is to give little injections over here. Sometimes I numb their whole hand, so if there are this many, you know? But sometimes just a little bit of local energy in the injection will make that go away. Sometimes, um, if we can't use the liquid nitrogen, if we can't use the freezing, the cryotherapy, and by the way, the one over the counter doesn't work that great. I, I've, I've had so many people use that freezing stuff, you know, that freeze off or whatever it is over the counter. <coughs> I don't know, it's just not strong enough. Or sometimes they use it too too much, too hard, and they burn their skin. And it's, I don't know, I think you need to have somebody who knows, knows what they're doing and, and have it targeted in a certain way to really make it work well. But I haven't seen that really be successful, and unfortunately, I wish it were. Um, we use lasers to treat these, and sometimes what we'll do is we'll just numb them up and individually just cut them off, cauterize them, and that's it. We'll be done. One stop shop. But they're challenging and tough to treat. Here's another type of wart. We'll see a molluscum. And this key to this one is little kids get it, they bathe with other kids, and then the infection spreads through the water. So or mommy and, 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 and daughter said will bathe and then the kid got it from some other kid at school and the parent will get it because they're sharing water together. Um, if they're easy to treat, we either freeze them off, we put a little caustic and there on it. Sometimes we just curette them. We have a little circular blade and we just scrape them off, done.